How are things rolling, viewers? Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment, doing another GTA 4 Lost and Damned walkthrough video. Now, this mission is the second part of Ray Bocchio's Diamond mission, which, if you have done the previous Diamonds in the Rough mission within a few minutes or a couple hours game time, Ray will call Johnny and tell him he has to make the exchange. Now, this intersects with Nico's mission, Museum Piece. And if you've played Grand Theft Auto 4 and that mission, you know how messy things get. For this mission, I would advise that you don't answer Ray's call because he will call back and call back. What you want to do is after you talk to Ashley in the Diamonds in the Rough mission, you load the um, autosave and Johnny will appear at the Lost headquarters. And then what you do is you don't answer Ray's phone call until you can get body armor, rocket propelled grenades, and max out Johnny's carbine rifle and submachine gun because you're going to need those for this mission. And I'll explain why while going through the mission. But first, how do you exploit the auto save and get things going? After you talk to Ashley, you want to go to the Diamonds in the Rough auto save and load it. Johnny will appear in the Lost Clubhouse. And then you don't want to answer Ray's phone no matter what. You want to go get Johnny body armor and get him a lot of ammo and weapons from Terry. And I'll show you how to do this. Now Johnny will appear in the clubhouse and what you want to do is immediately save and get Johnny's health back up to 100%. Then you want to walk out of the clubhouse and ride over to the area where there is body armor at some point, Ray is going to call you. Ignore the phone call completely. In fact, I think, yep, hit the ignore completely and walk and get the body armor. Now, Johnny has body armor and his full health back because you're going to need it in this mission. And if you go immediately after. You do diamonds in the rough. Johnny is pretty chewed up if you've watched the previous video. And now you want to call Terry. And Terry has the gun van. And you want to arm up as much as possible. Load up your carbine to the maximum amount of ammo. Load up your automatic shotgun to the maximum amount of ammo. Load up your submachine gun to the maximum amount of ammo. Again, you want to arm up. Also, you're going to want rocket-propelled grenades for a very specific reason. And when you do that, I mean, you don't want to buy them from Terry. you got to go use some of the free exploits that I've shown and get those rocket propelled grenades, but ignore Ray. And now buy some ammo from Terry. Thanks for showing. Catching a look at this arsenal is going to put a smile on your face, man. Feast your eyes on this. Terrence, you never cease to amaze. <laughs>
Terry. Johnny, man, I hope that SOB you're after deserves it. Now that you've bought ammo from Ray and have loaded up, and if you have to get rocket propelled grenades using the helicopter and whatever method you need, now ride back to the clubhouse. Ignore Ray, ignore Ray. Ride back to the clubhouse and have Johnny go back to sleep and save. It progresses the game forward six hours in game time, but now Johnny will not only have maximum health, body armor, and ammo for this mission because you're going to need it. Again, you go to the clubhouse and you save over your other diamonds in the rough save and now you're good to go. Ray Mundo. John John. Ashley sends a love. Yeah. You gotta give that girl another chance. You know, you kids are perfect for each other. Thanks for the advice, Ray. I was thinking the same thing about you and a coffin. You got that diamond money? You're gonna have to work for it, friend. Hope you don't mind sweating a little. Handover's happening at the Libertonian. Just make sure my man Nicky walks away with half the bread, buddy. Ciao. Now we're back to where we were, and you have to walk through the museum, the Libertonian, in order to get to the next part and meet Nico for the exchange. And if you've played Museum Piece, yeah, you know, things have gone wrong. So let's get on and let's get Johnny to Nico here and then go through the whole exchange. How's it going? Hey, soldiers, keep an eye out. Hey, all right, man. How's it going? Hey, good to see you again. Yeah, likewise. Uh, let's hope this goes a little better than before, yeah? Come on, let's get inside. Gentlemen, gentlemen, pardon the precautions. You know how things are. No problem. Let's do this. Okay, let's see the stuff, gentlemen. Maury, come over here. Whoa, 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 whoa. Since we're having a little show and tell, let's see some money. Of course, no problem. There it is. Beautiful, huh? Unmarked bills. No history, no need to launder. Good. Nico, show him the stuff. Get in there, Maury. Isaac, look at them. Gorgeous, huh? Like condensed money. Isaac, these are great. Rest of you motherfuckers wanna die? Do something stupid, okay? Fuck you! Just get the shit, man! Come on! The guy that uh, shot all the other people is from the Ballad of Gay Tony. Now, this is where you have to fight your way out of the museum, and you gotta keep in cover, and you first take out these guys in front of you, now, there's a guy at the far end of the hallway. You stay low and use these display cases for cover, and you work your way down. You want to get that guy at the far end of the hallway? Yeah, you, want, you can see him moving around, take him down, and then there's going to be some other guys you're going to have to take down.
Remember, stay low, go slow. And that's how you're going to get through this. Now, at the next point here, this guy jumped out, but there are other guys around the corner. And this is where having pipe bombs or grenades comes in handy. And I'll show you how to do this. When you switch to the pipe bombs or grenades, you don't want to just roll one in there. You roll multiple pipe bombs and grenades because these guys are going to try and get out of the way and find cover. And you throw the pipe bombs and the grenades, again, multiple ones to clear the area. I think this area is pretty clear. After that goes off, I'm going to sneak around with the carbine rifle and work my way down the steps. This guy's a dangerous motherfucker. At the guard desk, you can grab the body armor if you need it, but don't worry about all the other guys in the museum. What you want to do is, since you don't need the body armor in this case, and Johnny got through pretty well, go to the back entrance and go down the stairs, and there's this guy who's going to pop up, shoot him quickly. Now, what you want to do is, you don't want to rush out the back entrance. In fact, you want to shoot it open with the uh, carbine rifle or any weapon, and you can see cars out there. Those guys are raised people, and they're trying to kill you. And this is where you want to switch to the rocket launcher. And in this case, the pistol, I'm shooting the door out, switching to the rocket launcher, and kind of getting walking back here and getting a good view of the situation and you want to aim the rocket launcher properly so that you're going to shoot the cars and vehicles because those will blow up and they will kill some of Ray's goons and again you strafe a little bit get it open flip back to the rocket launcher get them to shoot the door open if need be and you want to Get a good view so you can place the dot of the rocket launcher on the vehicles and fire. Otherwise, you're just going to blow yourself up. And, I mean, just keep making sure you can get a good view. And this should work out here. You want to blow up as many cars as possible because once Ray's guys flee, well, guess what? They're going to tell Ray you got the money. And you gotta chase them down, which really sucks. Right here is where you got to go back onto your motorcycle and chase these guys down. It can be two to three cars, and you got to drive all over the city. You're going to incur a wanted level, and the cops are going to come after you. Yeah, it's a real pain. And again, this is where you want to strafe the tires of the vehicle. They might shoot back. It depends on who you killed and how many of them you killed. But again, you got to pursue them. And I'm going to fast forward a little bit to the first car being taken down. It is simply strafing the tires when you can. 
it slows the cars down and then you can take the guys out in this case a, i'm gonna you know they drive in a circle so again just keep strafing the tires okay i've done enough damage to this first car it's now flaming ignore the flaming guy and because he's going to get up and die and now you can just move on and don't yeah okay johnny got knocked off but now you got to pursue the second car and police are all over the place these cars drive in a circle but yep there's the other guy you got to follow him and keep strafing the tires and hitting the car so it blows up i'm going to fast forward to that next part Okay, this guy has damaged tires. He's driving erratically. He's now flaming. I'm going to turn around and see what happens. He should blow up the police cars. Yep, they're going to try and come at you. There is a third car you have to go after. And it's a nice flaming wreck there. I'm going to fast forward to the end where the other car is blown up. This last car is a little more difficult because there's a guy who is shooting at you, but I've got the tires shot out pretty much, and the guy loses control, and get Johnny turned around here, and now the car is stationary there. They're trying to get out. He's going to shoot at you. You strafe him. He falls down. Just keep shooting the car, getting it to flame and explode. And then it's, sh yep, it's exploded. Now you got to lose the cops. And that is easy enough to do. Once you lose the cops, they're still a part of this mission you got to complete. And now Johnny will have to call Jimmy and make arrangements to drop off the cash. Brother Johnny. James, where are you, man? I need to give you something. Exeter on V. What's up? Wait there. It's actually a fairly quick ride to Jimmy, or Jim, or James, but I'm going to fast forward to his location. Hey, what do you got? Got all the money the diamonds can buy. You mean all Ray's money? Fuck Ray, man. Fuck all of them. <laughs> yeah, fuck them. I guess we're rich then. Hold on to it, brother. You bet your balls on it. And there you go. Mission complete. Auto save. And then you're going to get a call from Ray. And you want to answer it because the exchange is fairly interesting. And I'm going to find a way to get Johnny some food um, and get him at least healthy. I probably should just ride over to the uh, Lost Clubhouse very carefully. But I want to hear the call from Ray. Hey, Johnny, Nicky tells me you got away with the money. Bring it to me. Nico said that. Dude, that's weird. Shit was kicking off. I don't know what happened to the money. I just wanted to get out with my life. You better not be pulling nothing, Johnny. Or I'll stop pulling your fucking teeth, you hear me? I like you, Ray. Still keep your sense of humor in the face of an almighty fucker. See you around. Well, Johnny just lied to Ray. But hey, the guy's kind of a jerk to begin with. Now, best thing is to get Johnny back to the clubhouse and healed up from sleep, body armor him up, 
get his ammo built up and I can't order anything here. What the hell? I thought I could order food at a restaurant. Anyway, I'm going to get Johnny back to the clubhouse. He's really badly beat up. You can kind of tell there's that tiny sliver of red there. And if Johnny gets in an accident on his way to the clubhouse, well, he's dead. Now, as you see, there's uh, another blip on the map. That is Ray Bocchio. You're going to see him again. Uh, things are going to start to get really spicy here, and things are going to get far more interesting. I'm going to get Johnny back to the safe house. And if you like this video, hit the like button. If you like this type of video, hit the subscribe button. I'm always grateful for subscribers, and if people like this, I'm trying to monetize it. Um, hopefully I've now reached 100 subscribers. I don't know. I record these videos way ahead of time. I'm Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment. Thanks for stopping by.